you should now have a good sense of the sources that you need to use for your research project and how to get to psych info on our library website. Let's take a few minutes now to go over how to actually search this database. The first step is to decide what keywords you're going to use. The first step in determining what keywords you're going to use is to determine what your actual research question is. And I'm going to write mine out here. So my question is, does playing violent video games uh, lead to greater aggressive behavior? Now this is not the research question that you're going to necessarily use for your actual project. It's project, it's just the one that I'm using for the purposes of um, an example. So does playing violent video games lead to greater aggressive behavior? Now if you were using Google, you could just type it in like this and you'd get a whole bunch of websites and news articles and things like that. Um, but when you're using a database, you actually can't do it that way. You can't type in an entire sentence. What you have to do is work with specific keywords, the ones that are the most important concepts. So I think the, the concept of violent is really important in this one. Video games is really important. That's really the subject here. And the concept of aggressive behavior is really important too. The rest of these words are basically just filler. And when we go to work in the database, we can't use them. We have to make sure we just stick to the main concepts. So what I'm going to do is get rid of all the words that aren't going to help us. And we're just going to stick with these main three. We're going to be left with violent, video games, and aggressive behavior. These are our three main concepts. The only thing is that we have different researchers that are working on this topic, and all of them might have used slightly different words to get at this idea. So for example, someone might have used the term computer games, like they might have been speaking about a specific computer game in their research, and they didn't use the word video games, but we still think it's relevant. Another thing that we could do is we could think about like what kind of video games exist. So there might be something like uh, war games. Basically what we're trying to do is think of synonyms for this concept so that we can search them all and get all the different articles that use different language. Uh, another example here might be fighting games. Is another phrase that someone might have used instead of video games. Okay, then uh, let's do the same thing for the other ones. So for violent, what's another word that we could use? Uh, how about brutal? If someone could be, if a, if a video game could be violent, it could also be brutal. Um, maybe another word that an author would have used would be cruel. Um, maybe even uh, harmful. So these are just different synonyms, different options that we could use besides the word violent, which is our main keyword. For video games, which is another main keyword, these are some other options. And now let's do the same thing for aggressive behavior. So maybe um, a person could have just used the word aggressiveness. And if we don't search that, we're going to miss it. Or maybe they used the word aggression aggression. And if we don't search that, we would miss it. Um, what's another way to describe ag aggressive behavior? Um, I would say sometimes aggressive behavior can be intimidating. So maybe that's a word that a researcher might have used to describe the type of behavior that someone has or doesn't have when they're playing violent video games. So during this process, what you're doing is you're taking your research question, you're breaking it down into its main components, and then you're brainstorming for each one different words that an author could have used to, to, to write about that topic. As soon as this video is done, you'll have an activity to complete where you get to go through that same process on your own using your research question, the one you're actually using for your project. After that, we'll go into PsycInfo and we'll start inputting those keywords and we're actually going to get some results.